It's Sunday. Time to break out the SBRs. Interesting thing about this VZ61 is that I cannot bring this in as a pistol in Massachusetts. I had to do this up as an SBR to actually get it imported here. I went with the Code 4 Defense furniture on this. I have their modern front end kit, and then I have their stock on this, which is what I used for the SBR paperwork. And then I threw on this Magpul uh, rail mounted vertical foregrip. I like the front end kit. You kind of need something to hold on to with this barrel just, you know, barely sticking out past your hand. You do get a little bit of blast from it. One issue on this though, I had this out in a couple of videos and this optic mount, that Picatinny rail is, I don't know if you can see it, it's angled up slightly just enough that I can't get any sight actually zeroed in. Couldn't correct that, so I just threw the UUQ up front. The only issue from the factory was is just completely dry. Just needed to oil it up really good. Um, other than that, my only other complaint, I need to get like original magazines or something. These are kind of tight fitting them in there. And the other negative, you um, are not getting a full mag in there unless the bolts cock back. I mean, there are a couple guns like that, but I don't like that. I prefer it to, you know, be able to insert, but there's no way that's going in. This reminds me of the Phantom from GoldenEye. I know it's the claw, but it also looks like the Phantom now. Let's sight this in on some paper. We're sighted in decent enough that I think I can pull off what I need to for today. Let's drop these two Texas stars real quick. I told you we would get 100% accuracy next time. <laughs> I'm actually really liking the Scorpion right now. It comes in at three and a half pounds with all the stuff that I have on here. Excluding the magazine, 3.54 pounds right here. I have a little steel animal farm over there on the table. Let's pick that off right now with the scorpion. Hold on, let's go check. Black is a terrible color for these. No damage though. No dents. Just, just splatter. I'm lucky I'm only using 380. We'll have to see what nine millimeter does to that later. We got a cantaloupe up next. I want to get one round straight in there and see what happens. Great ass! That's a decent little blowout from the hollow point. Let's switch it around the other way and see if we can split it. Time to finish it off. Let's finish off with some sodas and then we'll move on. Soda pop and scorpion. Let's move on to nine millimeter. It's 
time for the Uzi 9mm. <laughs> Get out of here, do it now.